healthcare in the next few years will include a lot of mobile devices and peripherals, things that tie to us, that plug into the phone, but measure things in our body, including things like ingestible sensors. Ingestible sensors were developed years ago, actually, that measure biochemistry in the gut, that then report certain levels that can be measured of certain chemicals, and then medication is taken to counteract that. So lots of very sophisticated technology is already out of the marketplace for quite a while. But these mobile devices and peripherals will deliver most health and mental health care. They will augment a lot of the care that we deliver today. Sensor-based information gathering is growing exponentially. You'll see it already in the marketplace in mirrors and scales and vests and chairs and mattresses that measure your skin temperature, your heart rate variability, your galvanic skin response, all kinds of things about you. And of course, that'll pair that with self-report. Now, mobile devices will be networked into a central database. So a lot of these devices will be giving information that will all be stripped of PHI in central database. And it will all correlate with real-time data about your genetic profile. How do they get a genetic profile? They take you and your sister and your parents and all the data collected from anybody in your clan, basically your family and your whole genetic group, and then match that with information from your environment. What's in the water? What's in the air? What's in the food you eat? The oranges that you had for breakfast, how are they different from oranges in another part of the country? All this information, it's a tremendous amount of information coming in about what we're doing to ourselves and what our environment is doing and our genetic makeup at the same time. So it'll help us detect medical conditions and measure our medications, look at what we already know we have and the medication we're taking for that and how that's affecting us combined with a lot of research about each source daily, tapping into the National Institute of Health and all the information coming out of that, tapping into the CDC, the Center for Disease Control. That's what's going on. It's been going on for a long time. Now, all this data will be compiled into recommendations that will deliver medications, food, and other ingestible substances and behavioral prescriptions in ways that will help remedy diseases and problems before they can even be noticed. That's the promise. The promise of what technology will bring to them. There are things that are brewing inside of us that we may not be aware of now that we'll be able to be aware of in rather short order. And it's not driven by the behavioral healthcare world. It's driven by general health information technology world. I live in San Diego, which is a very big health technology hub because Qualcomm is there. So we have the mobile health world, and a lot of conferences happen, and I can go to a lot of those. So I get a lot of this information, so I just want to give you a little picture. There's a lot that's coming. And so those of you that are participating in this type of technology training and how to apply it to practice are very, very important for the growth of our professions. Our professions really are dependent on people like us.